Okay, so uh, I'm just going to show you how to control your volume from the command line. Now, many of you know if you do ALSA mixer, uh, and of course this also depends on how you have your audio set up, but ALSA mixer, you can go in here and you can control things uh, like your master volume, I've got a separate headphone output, uh, PCMI, which is like most of your, your wave sounds and stuff like that, you got your front, front mic, depending on how many inputs and outputs you have on your system right now I'm looking at playback you can see up in the top uh, left up here uh, F3 which is where I now shows uh, playbacks so basically outputs if I hit F4 these are inputs so I can capture stuff uh, control the input for different captures and whether I want to put a boost uh, what uh, input I want the source to be whether it's a rear mic or front mic and if I hit F5 it shows all inputs and outputs so that's great but how do you change this stuff within a script well, I'm going to hit escape here and go back to our command line here. Um, and here in the, in the shell, in the terminal, we can use a program. If you don't already have it installed, it should definitely be in your package manager. A mixer. And a mixer, if we just type a mixer and hit enter, it shows you, once again, all your inputs and outputs and what volume they're at. So like right here, we've got our master. It's called master, and right now it's set to 73%. Um, and it tells you other information too, like the, the limits of the uh, in and out playback. Um, and we can control all these different inputs individually, but today we're just going to look at the master. Basically, it's the same thing. You would just change the name to like front, and you can control the front left or the front right as well. Um, now, originally when I started writing the script, because I, I had done this a long time ago, I think when I had my, uh, my uh, OpenMoco Freerunner, I think I had to write a script to control the volume. Uh, with that so I can link buttons to it um, and that was a while ago and I couldn't find my notes on that so I came across and wrote I wrote this up while I was working on this world this big long script blah 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 and I said to myself when I was done writing that and by the way uh, I'll have a link to this this script if you want it in the description of this video um, but I was like I know I know that I didn't write that much I want to say I was able to do it in one short line so I went back and I googled it a little bit and found that yeah it's a lot simpler than that because what I was doing I was I was grepping f and using awk to find what the current volume is and then adding an input to that and then setting the volume to that and then giving outputs and then if you didn't give an input I have an if statement that says uh, you need to give a value blah 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 and, and that's that's way more than what we need really a mixer if we just say a mixer we can just say set, and in this case we'll say master, and we can say 10% plus, and it adds 10%. So now you can see we're at 84%. If I run that, that same command again, we're at 95%. So it actually went 11%. That was a little weird, but close enough. Um, and, of course, we can go negative, too. I can say a minus here, and we went from 100 to 89 uh, to 87 to 67 so forth so on you can say one and we can subtract one which really it's subtracting two I don't know why I just noticed that now uh, if I set this to zero does it go one no it doesn't anyway close enough for I mean one percent when you're talking in in volume is not uh, a big deal uh, so we can say plus one plus two or whatever obviously if you set it to something like a hundred it's not gonna go over a hundred percent so that is how you change it. You can throw that into a script. Uh, and you could do something similar to this um, to, to have a script. But really, you wouldn't need... I mean, you can get an input. It would just be overkill. Although, depending on what you're doing, you may need something like this. So that's why I'm posting this script up there. But really, that's all you need. So I thought I'd share that in case for some reason you wanted to link... Uh, certain keys on your keyboard or have when an event happens that you're you know uh, maybe you've got the, your your computer's volume muted but you want to be able to um, actually there's probably a whole other option for mute and unmute I should have looked into that let's let's see I just gotta guess here I doubt this will work mute hey it worked <laughs> see sometimes you guess and you guess right so you can see right here when I did mute it muted it and when I did unmute it turned it back on so that was that was a complete guess on my behalf uh, and and most programs are like that they're they're very 
they seem unintuitive and really there's no such thing as intuitive when it comes to technology so i hate to use that term but really if you guess i mean when you're typing out stuff in the command line basically you're typing it kind of like you're talking and so i just guessed there that if i did mute and unmute it would work and it did otherwise you can check the man file so anyway uh anyway i was trying to give you a a scenario that may exist. Maybe you got your computer muted, but you have a script checking for something, some sort of error or something to happen, and you don't want all your other audio, but you can have your script, if it detects the error or event that you've been waiting for, it can unmute, play a sound with like M player or something, and then remute the machine so, uh, so that you get an alert that way, but you don't have to worry about other uh, programs making sound if you're trying to be quiet or something. So, so Lot, lots of different scenarios. Like I said, on my cell phone, I need a script uh, to control my older cell phone. So go ahead, play with that. Check out the links in the description, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com. Thanks again. Bah, go to filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon. Help Chris find the products you want to buy and help support the site. Bah, thank you and have a great day. Bah.